friends! Welcome back to our Floral States of America project where we are on state number eight. <laughs> we are working on the state of Maryland and the state flower for Maryland is the Black-Eyed Susan. Now that is actually a flower that we can plant here in my yard um, up here in northern Illinois and I just absolutely love the flower. It is such a pretty, pretty flower. The thumbnail will show you a closer look at what that particular flower looks like, and I hope you like it as much as I do. Um, Cotton Cuts has partnered up with Wyndham Fabrics to create a fabric that showcases that particular flower. Uh, I'll give you guys a closer look of what it looks like right here, but you can see uh, we've got little pieces of it here. And wait until you see the block that we are making with this particular state. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and a little tricky as well. Let me go ahead and give you a closer look at what this fabric looks like and what the block is that we're going to be making today. Maryland is one of those smaller states over here along the East Coast. Again, their state flower is the Black Eyed Susan, which we're going to be showcasing with this particular fabric. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the little green accent leaves. They're so cute, and that's one of the colors of the background, fab background fabrics that Cotton Cuts has chosen for us for this particular block. Most of our blocks have been a navy blue and white in this, but this one is going to be this nice pretty teal um, along with our navy blue fabric. We're going to be making this really cool block down here. It looks a little challenging, but I'm certain that Cotton Cuts wouldn't give us anything that was too difficult. Um, and they've already pre-cut all of our pieces for us, so that takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. Maryland is a state in the mid-Atlantic region of the United States. It borders Virginia to its south, West Virginia to its west, Pennsylvania to its north, Delaware and the Atlantic Ocean to its east, and the national capital of Washington, D.C. to the southwest. With a total area of 12,000 square miles, or 32,000 kilometers squared, Maryland is the ninth smallest state by land area. Maryland's coastline was first explored by Europeans in the 16th century. Prior to that, it was inhibited by several Native American tribes, mostly the Algonquian peoples. As one of the original 13 colonies, Maryland was founded by George Calvert, first Baron Baltimore, a Catholic convert who sought to provide a religious haven for the Catholics persecuted in England. In exchange for granting the Calvert family a charter to settle the new colony, King Charles I asked that it be named for his wife, Queen Henrietta Maria. Thus, it was called Terra Maria, or Mary Land. Over the years, Maryland has been given many nicknames, including the Old Line State. This nickname was given to Maryland during the Revolutionary War when 400 soldiers in the 1st Maryland Regiment fought British force of 10,000 and helped General George Washington's army to escape. From 1783 to 1784, Annapolis, Maryland was briefly the capital of the United States, four years before Maryland became the seventh state to join the United States of America on April 28, 1788. Connecting people has always been a priority for the residents of Maryland. On July 4, 1828, Char Charles Carroll, an original signer of the Declaration of Independence, would lay the first cornerstone for the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. The first section of the B&O Railroad would stretch 13 miles connecting Baltimore, Maryland with Ellicott Mills in Olea, Maryland, and rely heavily on horses to pull passengers and freight. In 1829, B&O Railroad would begin testing steam engines, a new means of powering rail, and by 1880, Baltimore had become one of the nation's largest ports. But connecting people physically has not been Maryland's only focus. Whether it be through the wor written word of famous poets such as Edgar Allan Poe or F. Scott Fitzgerald or a birthday card sent from an aunt to a nephew through the first ever post office of the United States, Maryland's literary traditions also run deep. In 1844, Samuel F. B. Morris would introduce a new invention that would shorten the amount of time it took for people to connect significantly. On May 24, 1844, Samuel F. B. Morris would send the very first telegram between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. It would read, What hath God wrought? Tele telegraph lines and utility poles would be installed along the right-of-way of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, allowing for the spread of information quickly and efficiently. Many famous telegrams would be transmitted along these lines, including the announcement of the Wright brothers' first flight and the sinking of the RMS Titanic. However, the award for the laziest telegram ever would be awarded to Spike Milligan. In 1911, Spike would send his wife a telegram, which she opened on their own front door, that read, 
I would like a boiled egg, two slices of toast, and a cup of tea. Thank you very much, Spike. He was upstairs. Furthering Marilyn's need for connecting people, Charles Kennard and Elijah Bond would bring aboard to the world that claimed to connect you with those on the other side. On February 10th, 1891, a commercial patent would be obtained for a spirit board known as the Ouija board. The Ouija board was originally intended as a parlor game, but spiritualists believed that it could aid in the execution of seances connecting the living with the dead. To this day, the Ouija board remains one of the most mysterious board games in existence. While the residents of Maryland have aided in connecting people through communication, living or dead, they have also provided our nation with the most significant form of patriotic connection. In 1814, a Maryland lawyer named Francis Key Scott wrote a poem as he watched an attack take place on the Fort McHenry, War Fort McHenry during the War of 1812. On March 3, 1931, the U.S. Congress would officially recognize the lyrics from his poem as our nation's national anthem, later named the Star Spangled Banner. But did you know that the original poem actually has four verses? Only the first has been used as our national anthem. We are finished with our block. Tell me what you think. I love it. I think it's awesome. It gives you that star pattern. It gives you kind of a crisscross pattern. I just absolutely love, love it. I love the fabric colors that they've chosen. I think they really accent those flower pieces really, really well. Uh, I absolutely love it. All right, so the next, the, la the last step is to go ahead and color up our map for the state of Maryland. Uh, I'll bring you guys right back here in just a second show you what we've done. All right, our state of Maryland is all colored up, and I had a lot of fun with all the different colored markers I have now, so we're going to have lots more fun coloring these in. Maryland is known as the Old Line State, and here's a closer look at the block that we made today. Uh, I absolutely love these colors together. I love this fabric. It is just so pretty. The teeny tiny flowers with the blue accent, the teal colored accent really brings everything out together, and I absolutely love it. All right, friends, well, that's it for Maryland. I This block went together so much quicker than I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna have a lot more trouble than I did, uh, but it turned out to be easier than expected. I love the end result. I think it's absolutely perfect. I think it brings, the colors really bring out the flower, the colors in the fabric. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. If you're from the state of Maryland or whatever state you may be from, make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know. We'd love to know a little bit more about the state that you are from. I'll also leave a link down in the description below for the entire playlist for this particular series. So in case you're just joining us now, you can catch up uh, or catch your state as it comes up. Thanks again so much for joining me and you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you again here for the next date coming up. Bye for now.